Good evening, Philippines. This is Mike Padua once again, and we are back to our update on Tropical uh, Depression Choi, one with local name Dante, for this Friday, June 4, 2021, and this brought to you by Typhoon 2000. By the way, we were not able to uh, bring you the uh, video analysis yesterday because uh, we uh, encountered some uh, whole day migraine. It's hard to uh, talk on video if you have intense uh, migraine. And mainly due to uh, sleepless nights, but now I am uh, okay right now. And uh, let's begin uh, with our update. Here is the uh, uh, latest uh, animation, zoom out animation from the University of Wisconsin CIMSS page. And right now, uh, it's hard to locate the storm uh, since uh, it's already uh, downgraded into a tropical depression. But I'm going to show it to you. Here's the zoom in satellite animation. So this is the uh, animation for the past six hours. Then you can clearly see here the uh, yeah the remnants of tropical storm uh, Dante, which became a, a tropical depression as it uh, passes to the southern tip of Taiwan. This system moved out briefly of the Philippine area of responsibility and re-entered again, re again and it's now moving fast towards the uh, East Taiwan Sea, towards uh, Okinawa. And it's uh, just uh, bringing some showers, cloudy skies with some thunderstorms in some areas of uh, extreme northern zone. And this system will likely to be absorbed on the uh, frontal boundary over uh, the area of Okinawa. If we look at the Philippine Islands, it's uh, back to normal except for the western sections of Luzon. We have the... Uh, uh, southwesterly surface wind flow and here we have a uh, trough trough from a low pressure area a shallow low pressure area outside of bar it's not yet expected to develop so expect lots of thunderstorms across that those areas here in eastern Visayas and eastern Mindanao now here's the latest graph set for today until tomorrow Saturday here's the uh, uh, once tropical storm Choi one or Dante moving uh, past the southern tip of Taiwan and here's the surface trough bringing some showers and thunderstorms across eastern Visayas and eastern Mindanao we have a shallow LPA here quasi stationary that will barely moving but the system uh, will not intensify for the next uh, 24 hours and so far uh, that's the uh, latest from our graph set here is the uh, Storm track number 16 from Typhoon 2000. So the, the storm briefly moved out of the Philippine Air Responsibility this morning and re-entered one, once again this afternoon as it passes to the southern tip of Taiwan and by tomorrow morning it will again move out of the Philippine Air Responsibility as it is expected to move. It is expected to uh, speed up at 41 kph towards the frontal boundary to the north of Taiwan and uh, here's the uh, Asian agencies trucks all of the Asian agencies monitoring the storm so uh, here's the uh, past track of the system so it uh, the last time we left you we said that the system might go west and it happened and we are the westernmost track of all agencies so we are close to the track of uh, uh, we were close to the true track of the system when it uh, where it passed and so far uh, all of the agencies adjusted towards the west but luckily for uh, western Luzon it only gave the amount of rainfall the right ample amount of rainfall especially for the farmlands but nothing uh, major happened during the past uh, passage of that system except for areas of the Visayas and uh, Mimaropa, where some, uh, some flooding occurred during the passage of Tropical Storm Dante. Here is the forecast for the next three days until Monday. Expect some uh, isolated scattered rain showers and thunderstorms brought about by the surface trough here across Visayas and Mindanao and some uh, isolated thunderstorms as well across uh, Bicol region, Palawan and the western sections of Luzon brought about by the southwesterly surface wind flow it also includes metro manila and uh, so far that's the latest
from our frame for accumulation for this uh, of windy.com uh, here's the uh, wind forecast for the next uh, four days uh, for the next three days so by tomorrow afternoon we expect the southwesterly surface wind flow to occur across the western sections of western seaboards of Luzon while variable winds will prevail over Bicol region, eastern Visayas and Mindanao also the western sections of the Visayas will have some light southwesterly winds and uh, on Sunday uh, the uh, southwesterly winds will prevail across western Luzon and portions of western Visayas. Variable winds across eastern Luzon, Bicol region, and uh, Mindanao. And on Monday, uh, the southwesterly surface wind flow will continue to uh, prevail across uh, Palawan, western Luzon, and uh, the uh, western coastal areas of Visayas, while uh, Northern and Central Luzon, including the Bicol region, uh, Visayas and Mindanao, we have variable, will have variable winds, so expect some localized thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening that will uh, bring some uh, relief during the afternoon when we have a very high heat index. So these uh, thunderstorms will offset the heat that we are experiencing during the noontime and the afternoon. Okay, so far that's the latest. We don't have any uh, new LPA for the next five days. It's still clear. So we'll keep you updated if there's uh, another one forming. But so far by Monday we'll give you the very latest if there will be another LPA or tropical cyclone that will form to the east of the Philippine Islands. So there you go. This is Mike Potter reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser. Be hashtag typhoonwiser. See you again on Monday. Uh, happy weekend to all and uh, thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.